Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this episode I'm going to teach you guys how to properly and easily polish your feed ramps and get results from this to this. So stay tuned and welcome to the channel. Hey guys, so a few simple tools we're going to be using for the video is going to be a vise now you don't have to use a vise, I'm just using a vise for this video in order to hold the barrel so I can use my hands to control uh, my rotary tool and get a good polish on the barrel. Again, you don't need a vise, it's, it's nice to have, but it's not a requirement. Alright, so next tool on our list is a rotary tool. Now you can use a Fordham such as this one, or you can use a Dremel. Any rotary tool will work as long as you can add these attachments, these little felt bobs, in order to polish up your barrel's feed ramp. And we will also be using some sort of metal polish. Now you can use flits, you can use Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish, or you can use Brownells Polish Array 555. Now in my experience, the best results that I have ever gotten with polishing feed ramps and small internal parts on firearms has been the Polish Array 555. Now this compound isn't very abrasive, it just gives you a nice polish on the surface and to me it gives one of the best results. So for this video we are going to be using the Polish Array 555. Okay so the first thing that we're going to do before we polish our feed ramp and our chamber is we're going to degrease the surfaces that we're going to polish in order to get rid of any residual oil that might be left behind so it can yield the best results when we start polishing. So to do this we're going to get a q-tip and we're going to get a little bit of acetone okay and we're just gonna wipe the surface clean okay just get the q-tip and wipe all the areas that you plan on polishing and then we'll use the dry side just to soak up whatever is left behind now we can start polishing alright so in order to polish up our feed ramp and chamber we're gonna be using two different sized felt bobs we're gonna get one that's roughly the diameter of our casings alright for our rounds so it can fit into our chamber pretty snug and we can polish all the way around and get a nice mirror polish on the inside and the next bob that we're going to use is roughly the diameter of our feed ramp so we don't have to worry about going side to side it will pretty much be back and forth and it'll take care of the whole feed ramp at once all right so the first thing that we're going to polish is our chamber now the reason you would want to polish the inside of your chamber is to have smoother extraction from your firearm now remember when your round goes off the casing itself expands into the walls of your chamber and if it's rough in there your extractor is going to have a harder time of extracting that round out of your barrel. So by polishing the inside of our chamber we're ensuring that we have a smooth surface in there so when we shoot our round the case expands. Now there will be less resistance of the case sticking to those chamber walls as the extractor pulls them out. So it's just all about efficiency. All right. So to get started, we're going to get our felt bob that snugly fits inside of our chamber, our chamber mouth. And we're going to use some of our polishing compound, which in this case is our Brownells Polish Array, the 555. So we're just going to coat it. All right get some on our felt bob and then we are going to insert it into our chamber and start polishing
and I think we're good. All right, guys, so here is the results that we got from polishing the inside of our chamber. I know it's tough to see on camera, so I ended up putting a flashlight down at the muzzles just to shine a little bit of light through. And I'm going to insert the head of a Q-tip so you guys can see how well polished the inside of our chamber is. If you look at the right hand side of our chamber wall, you'll see the reflection of our Q-tip. So we achieved a very nice mirror polish. These are the results we were aiming for and this will greatly help our extractor work more efficiently in our firearm. Next we changed the head of our felt bob. Okay, We got a new bit, different shape. And now we're going to polish our feed ramp. Same process as before. We're going to get our felt bob, get a little bit of our polishing compound, and impregnate our felt bob just to get some material on there. And then we are going to start polishing our feed ramp. As you can tell, didn't take much time to get that surface into a nice mirror polish. All right guys, and here are the results of our polishing of the feed ramp. As you can tell, we got a nice smooth mirror polish to our feed ramp as well. And this is gonna help a lot with feeding into our firearm. It will reduce the chances of any rounds getting stuck on the feed ramp on its way up to the chamber because now it is smooth and there are no rough surfaces for any rounds to jam on. All right, so the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a clean patch and run it through your board just to get rid of all of that polishing compound that's stuck on the inside of our chamber uh, from polishing and clean that out. Then you're just gonna re-oil your barrel, lube it up and reassemble into your gun. And that's it, you're done. All right guys, so if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date on all the tips and tricks that we release on our channel. And as always, I will put a link down in the description where you can find all the tools and equipment that we use in these videos. And until next time, thank you for watching.